Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the green hydraulic system description and operation. Green hydraulic system description and operation. You know everybody that the aircraft, the Airbus A320, has three independent hydraulic system. There is no transfer of fluid between the three hydraulic system. And we have the three hydraulic system called the green, blue, and yellow system. Most of the green component are located in the main landing gear bay. And the most of the blue component are located in the blue hydraulic bay, left hand side forward of the main landing gear bay. And the most of the yellow hydraulic system component are located in the yellow hydraulic bay. Let's speak a little bit and go deeply inside the green hydraulic system. As you can see here, everybody, most of the system component are installed in the main landing gear compartment, main wheel well. And if we need to divide the main modules, of the green hydraulic system we can speak about or manifold we can speak about high pressure manifold leak measurement manifold BTU manifold and return manifold and return manifold okay everybody the green hydraulic system supply the thrust reverser of engine number one and the green hydraulic supply supplies the normal brakes. Supply the normal brakes, everybody. So, if you need to find any component of the green hydraulic system, you need to go to the main landing gear compartment. Main landing gear compartment. Okay. So. <clears throat> If we can have a picture inside the main landing gear bay, you can see here a picture for the main manifold of the green hydraulic system. In the ceiling of the main landing gear bay or main landing gear wheel well, we can have the green hydraulic system accumulator. We can have the high pressure manifold the high pressure manifold and also we can have the green BTU manifold green BTU manifold and also the leak measurement manifold leak measurement manifold okay everybody this is the green hydraulic bay this is called the green hydraulic bay because it is having most of the green hydraulic manifold high pressure manifold, leak measurement manifold, and the green BTU manifold, and the green system accumulator, the green system accumulator, everybody. Also here we have the BTU, underneath the BTU we have the yellow BTU manifold, and this is a constant speed motor generator on located on the keel beam, and this is the green reservoir, everybody. Green reservoir, everybody. Okay. What about the reservoir? The reservoir, everybody, this is the green reservoir. On top of the reservoir, we have the air pressurization manifold. Air pressurization manifold. Because we know that each reservoir is pressurized with air at 50 BSI. 50 BSI. So on top of the reservoir, we have the air pressurization manifold that do have an air pressure gauge, a pressure relief valve, and a low pressure switch. Again, air pressure gauge, pressure relief valve, and the low pressure switch. The pressure gauge indicate the air pressurization or the pressure of air on top of the reservoir. The pressure relief valve relieve air to the atmosphere if the air pressure are going to 77 BSI and the low pressure switch indicate on the ECAM 
reservoir low air pressure when the pressure drop down to 22 psi 22 psi so normal pressure 50 relief at 77 and low pressure indication at 22 psi 22 psi so as you can see here everybody the reservoir has a direct reading gauge a quantity indicator and a low level switch at 22 psi for ecam indicating and monitoring for ecam indicating and monitoring everybody this is a real life picture of the reservoir hydraulic reservoir green and on top of the reservoir we have the air pressurization manifold we have the direct reading gauge on the reservoir and on the bottom of the reservoir we have reservoir drain valve reservoir drain valve okay okay everybody so this is the picture real life picture of the green reservoir having a quantity transmitter direct reading gauge direct reading fluid gauge and also quantity transmitter to transmit the fluid quantity on the e cam and also on the green service panel quantity indication quantity indication okay everybody and we have a low level switch low level switch this is for the fluid quantity fluid quantity because everybody we have two uh, level switch two level switch uh, a low pressure a low pressure switch low air pressure switch at 22 psi and we have a low level switch is for the fluid quantity this is for the fluid quantity everybody fluid quantity okay so we have a low level switch on the reservoir low level switch is a float operated switch which include a relay and a magnet which keeps the contact open when the float is high a metal shroud around the float operate as a damper for a small change in the fluid level in the fluid level everybody okay So everybody, this is the reservoir, green reservoir located in the main landing gear bay. On top of the reservoir, we have an air pressurization manifold having a direct reading pressure gauge, air relief valve, and the low level, low pressure switch. And we have on the reservoir a level transmitter or quantity transmitter and a low level switch okay on the bottom of the reservoir we have drain valve okay everybody and this is the suction line to engine driven bump suction line to engine driven bump and this is the return line from the return lines return line from the services okay everybody this is the low level switch low level switch which is a float switch and also have electrical electrical connection to indicate on the ecam when the low level quantity is reached when the low level quantity is reached and on the bottom of the reservoir we have a drain valve drain valve that if an overfill happening you can drain some of the fluid from the uh, underneath the reservoir okay in order to retain again the normal quantity in order to retain again the normal quantity everybody so as you can see here everybody this is the air pressure manifold gauge relief valve and the low air pressure switch quantity indicator and the quantity transmitter direct reading fluid level and the quantity transmitter low level switch for reservoir low level quantity indication and the drain valve underneath the reservoir to drain some fluid in case of an overflow happening in the reservoir it is located in the main landing gear hydraulic bay what about the 
reservoir fluid level quantity. There are three levels. Normal fill level of the green hydraulic reservoir is 14 liter. Maximum gaugeable level is 18 liter. And the low level warning will come at 3 plus or minus 0.4 liter. So this low level indication, low level switch, indicate on the ACAM the fluid quantity become amber and the low level indication become at 3 plus or minus 0.4 liter. 0.4 liter everybody. Okay. This is the quantity indicator, everybody. And also underneath the quantity indicator, we have a quantity transmitter to transmit the fluid quantity on the ECAM hydraulic page and also on the green hydraulic service panel that we do have a quantity indicator also for the three reservoir on the green ground service panel. For the three reservoir on the green ground service panel. Okay, so... This is the level transmitter, everybody. The level transmitter permits direct reading of the hydraulic fluid level and the transmission of the level indication to the cockpit on the ACAM. It includes an arm fitted with a float which drive a gear train on a magnetic coupling. The synchro transmitter shaft support a pointer to permit direct reading of the fluid level. So the level transmitter, everybody, has a direct reading fluid level gauge and the transmission quantity transmitter of the level indication to the cockpit to the cockpit everybody okay this is the electrical connector and mounting plate this is the float the reservoir fluid quantity is consisting of a float with a magnet synchro transmitter and the gear train to indicate the fluid quantity on the gauge from the reservoir itself. From the reservoir itself. Okay, everybody? Okay. The reservoir, everybody, the green hydraulic reservoir, is made of two molded, molded light alloy sections welded together. Two molded light alloy sections welded together. The top of the reservoir has a manifold for the component of the air pressurization system. Again, what are they? A direct reading air pressure gauge, low air pressure switch, okay, everybody, low air pressure switch, and a relief valve, and a relief valve. The reservoir is divided into two parts. The lower part is always full, and a transfer tube enable hydraulic fluid exchange with the upper part, which constitutes the fluid reserve. Okay, everybody? Okay. Thank you always for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this to continue our session on the green hydraulic system, uh, green hydraulic system for the Airbus A320. Thank you and goodbye.